As far as romances, she did have a couple of romances um, uh, during her time at Wentworth. Um, oh, she had um, she had a kiss with um, uh, with um, prison officer Fletcher. But that was very early on, and he'd separated from his wife, and we were working together, and somehow we went out and had a drink, and they did have a kiss, and then of course he went back to his wife, which made Vera a little bit more bitter and twisted. Um, she had a couple of romances. She was used by a couple of men um, who needed to get contact inside the prison. Um, she was completely straight and by the book, um, but uh, people tried to influence her. She didn't know what to do. She, you know, when Terry asked her to marry her, it was almost like she was like a stunned mullet. She was going, me? And then she asked a number of times, are you sure? Have you haven't made a mistake? It, you, you want to marry me? So she didn't have any social graces and she didn't have any self-confidence. She had a lot of confidence in her, in her role as a prison officer and she coveted Erica Davidson's position as governor of Wentworth. She would have done anything to become a governor. So I guess when um, uh, she was offered the job as um, governor of Barnhurst, well, she just had to take it because it was number one. It wasn't Wentworth Detention Centre, but Barnhurst was... Um, yeah, I think that would have pleased her enormously, to be a governor of a prison. She'd reach the top, and then it wouldn't matter about her social life. She didn't really need one because she would be working 24-7. Yes, making the place run like a prison and not a holiday camp. <laughs>